I am also a big fan of this. It looks shit. The car looks like it's got pink eye. Well, I'd say it looks like the Hulk skid mark. Who in their right mind makes that? Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. I'm Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. A few weeks ago, we put out an email for you guys to submit your cars and we are going to roast your cars. Are you ready for this, boys? I feel in no way qualified to roast other people's cars. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I've ever roasted before is a chicken. Shall we swipe across and have a look at our first car? Oh, submitted by Daniel Chidley. We're having a look at your Nissan Cube. Do you know what? The cube itself, I'm a big fan of. You so would be. You're like the human cube. Um, look, he's got a big bit of wood on the top. Yeah, you like a big bit of wood, don't you? It just looks like a, there's like a load of glasses smashed on one side of it. I mean, the Nissan Cube in itself, arguably a cool car. I'm not sure about this kind of half wrap design. Doesn't really do it for me. I don't like these drift steelies as well. However, I would drive it. The car is obviously not symmetrical anyway, so I think only being bothered to do half of it is kind of fitting. He ran out of wrapping paper. Wrapping paper, is that how you think you wrap? cars uh mixed bag your car could be cool but you've made it less cool oh hello sailor submitted by alexander vici 2004 lancia thesis the color combination looks like a, a granddad's boiled sweet <laughs> it looks like someone's had a shit on top of another person's shit <laughs> <laughs> do you know the funny thing is as well is that they actually got it wrapped that color. This is on purpose. Most mods are in the interior, like a Bluetooth car kit. That tells you enough about someone who's calling a Bluetooth car kit a mod, right? I think it's probably gonna be the ugliest car that we've got on this list. Submitted by Merzen Minhajul. What is it? Oh my God, Ethan, we did a whole series on it. Really? It's, it's a Lexus IS200. Thought it was a Skyline. Oh no, please don't do this. I don't know, it's not track, it's not drift. It's just like a halfway house. Either do something properly or, or just don't bother. He has said, wannabe drift car. Why don't you just do it? Maybe he's scared of sending it in case he breaks that lovely wrap that he's got on it. Carl Winter, love your email. I'm gonna read this out. For the attention of Jack and Alex, 2008 Honda Civic Type R, TDI North 3 inch cat bag, Meister R coilovers, splitter, discs and PS4 tires, and then in brackets, for the attention of Ethan, it's red. <laughs> Why is there a shelf on the front? Oh God. Oh, it's a Civic. Oh my God, what is happening? Well, he only told me it was red. Do you rate Carl's car or do you hate Carl's car? This model just reminds me of Star Trek and I'm not really a fan, so. If you're gonna get a Type R, get an EP3 or get an EP3, just get an EP3. Before we roast more of your cars, a quick thank you to this week's video sponsor, ModFind, which is a new automotive marketplace where you can buy, sell and make extra cash. You can make extra cash by linking to your social media accounts and promoting sale posts to your friends. It's that simple. To kick things off, we've uploaded a variety of car throttle merchandise and car parts, the proceeds of which will all be going to charity. This includes a signed piston from Phil's original engine, Ethan signed Gumball 3000 emoji jacket, a pretty much a racing driver t-shirt signed by four-time F1 champion Sebastian Vettel, as well as caps, lanyards and other cool car throttle merch. So download ModFind now and check out our listings. Oh, I mean that's just me all over. This is not you all over because it's going to put a turbo on it, he's tried to make it rude. Why, why did you bother doing it with a Street KA? You're trying to make a Mazda MX-5, but it's always going to be front wheel drive and it's always going to be compromised. This is better than MX-5. Name three reasons why it's better. It's uh, not owned by you. Ooh. There's only one thing you need to know to be able to roast this car, and that's the fact that Ethan picked it because he liked it. So for that reason, your car is shit. Right, Jack, here we go. This has got you written all over it. Yes. Oh, for God's sake. Talk us through it, Jack. E36, coupe, what more do you need to know? I mean, look at it, thing of beauty. I am also a big fan of this. It's no different from any other E36. You two just bang on about it all the time. Well, roast my ride. We're not gonna roast your ride. It looks shit. Ooh, I'm gonna talk us through this because we got a Mark II Mazda MX-5, Josh. Yeah, MX-5 buddies. Got a full hydro handbrake. Jack, this is you all over. Stretch tires, you love all this. That's all good things, but you do not need a wing that big on an MX-5. Also, the rear end has had like loads of work done to it and the front end looks really standard except for the stupid little tongue thing where you can get recovered if you're on track. Yeah, that's gonna be cable tied to his radiator as well. Looks better than Phil. Shut the up. Josh, I'm guessing that you're 19, you live at home and you don't have a girlfriend. F Oh, mate, Josh, you just got absolutely wrecked. Next car, submitted by 
Adam Canfield, the YouTube guy. So where he is parked is the Shepherd and Flock pub, which is about two minutes from where I grew up. And it is a pub on the largest inhabited roundabout in the UK, in Farnham. Cool, okay, we don't want your life story. What do you think of the car, Jack? They're cool and everything, but it's always gonna be fake, isn't it? Do you know what this car's actually based on? Jaguar XJS with a Cobra body and a 5.7 litre with about 300 horsepower. If you like that kind of thing, I wouldn't drive it. It's cool that he's in Farnham. Okay, that's probably the coolest thing about the car. Matthew Zhu. This this car is a Toyota Will. It's a little car designed for young people and it was designed in collaboration with Toyota, a personal hygiene company and also an office furniture company. What? What? And my favourite thing about this email though is the third picture. The car is upside down. I flipped going a corner at 20 kilometres an hour. That's 12 miles an hour. Who in their right mind makes that and thinks, yeah, young people will like this. I really want to drive it. Is that weird? Yeah, but it's you all over, isn't it? It's small and weird. Oh, you forgot weak, Ethan. I'm weak. <laughs> right, Matthew, I think it's a curious little thing. I'd like to drive it, but I think you're probably really weird. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to an Audi A4 submitted by Gareth Deacon. And the only thing you need to know about this is that the Audi logo lights up, which makes him a scumbag. This guy really wants people to know he drives an Audi, doesn't he? No, that's cool. Imagine seeing that in your rear view mirror. What would you, would you move out of the way? No, you would 100% brake check him. Is that a turbo? <sighs> Can we mute Ethan's call? Let's mute his contract at car for it all. <laughs> S2000. You picked this, didn't you, to drop in? My problem with the S2000 is I think that this is one of the most overrated cars ever made. I drove the, uh, an S2000 straight after driving our street ported RX-8 Felix. It just felt completely gutless and lifeless. I'm, I'm not a fan. I can't get on board with it, I'm afraid. This subject is like an MX-5, but for bigger, taller boys. Oh man, that's a personal dig at you, man. Uh, there's nothing I could say, is there? I'm sure, like, whatever, get over it. I'm, I'm cool with it, but I don't want to talk about it, so let's just move on. Next one, submitted by Atta Blomqvist. I think I've pronounced your name correctly. We've got um, an S14 with a big wing and big spoolie boy. Uh, pfft. I couldn't care less about S14s. And this looks like the Hulk's skid car as well. Well, I'd say it looks like the Hulk's skid mark. It looks like in the right picture that he's left a, his spray can there. So it's like he sprayed it up green and then took a picture of it. You've clearly spent a lot of time and money and effort on it, but uh, not a fan, not a fan at all. Eth? Uh, no, I'd actually agree with you as well. This is not for me. Wow, it must be bad. Our advice would be to find the nearest cliff, knock the handbrake, down and just roll it down the hill and get your money from the insurance. Send it off that cliff, bruh. Another car submitted by Alex Whitehead. And we have a 2014 Alfa Romeo Giulietta QV. Out of all of the emails, why? This should be quite a good car, but a few years ago, I drove one and it was the biggest piece of shit I've driven in a long time. You remember, don't you, Eth? I do remember it. I remember you lay into that poor guy afterwards as well. He asked what you thought and you gave a very, very honest answer. The less said about this, the better, I think. Shall we move on? Oh, ho, 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 ho. shit's getting serious, boys. Chrysler Crossfire. The biggest problem with this car, the steering is recirculating ball steering, so not rack and pinion. You can just drive down any road, do that, and nothing happens whatsoever. It is completely devoid of any steering feel. And for that reason, it's not a sports car and it should never have been made. It was Mercedes and, and Chrysler, right? Yeah, Mercedes SLK. And like the worst bits of both combined into one. Why is Callum doing this to himself? He already went through this once with you before and he thought, nah, let's go again. Who put this in there? Oh, I put this in here. It was supposed to take mourners to the funeral parlor. They call it a funeral parlor? Jack, that is poor taste, mate. That's that's really insensitive, Jack. Well, this guy's using it as a family run around. It's just absolutely madness to, to want to use this. Imagine you owned this when you were younger and you're taking all your mates into town. <laughs> what a way to rock up to a club. Thank you, Tony, for submitting that. Ed Brown, what is it? A Trabant. I picked this in because the car looks like it's got pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> this car looks like it smoked way too many doinks. It was made in communist East Germany in June 1984. Sounds like you. Actually, 
Not far off. I think it's something you just get with your Happy Meal. This is very interesting. Submitted by Caleb, AKA Gingium. Subaru powered all wheel drive, full custom roll cage, long travel suspension, rear mounted radiator, world rally blue paint, and will be running around 400 horsepower. Now he has built this car from the ground up. I'm so in love with this car, except for two things, the front and the rear lights. I think every Mark 1 MX-5 should have proper pop-ups, not those half sleepy eye ones. Also the rear covers for the rear lights, they just look really crap. Not a fan of that. Also, I put this up on my Instagram, like a top one his car, bottom one my car, and I said top or bottom and why, and the majority of people went for Phil. So there you go, there's your roast, Caleb. No, they didn't. They did. I'm not having that, it's very cool. I don't like blue, I'll say that, I don't like blue cars. You can't knock the workmanship, I'm sure. I'm just, I can't believe you put it in here. Oh God. Whoa. This guy opens his email so well. This is my grandmother's shit box. Hey, why? whoa. Uh, sorry, um, Ethan, who did you get your shit box from? It was your wife's grandfather. <laughs> that is true, actually. Do you have to be a grandparent to buy these? This is actually a way cooler version than you because this is a manual and yours was an auto. Yeah, but it's apples and oranges, isn't it? I prefer apples. Okay, yeah, but let's let's just not start attacking it. Like, let's have a decent conversation about it. Okay, I'll start. This car's a piece of shit. Well, I think it's great, Sander. Oh, Jack, this has got you all over it, hasn't it? I mean, let's ignore the exterior for a second. We can get round to that, but it's turbo. Standard crank and standard rods for extra failure points. Open differential because LSDs are for wimps. More fiberglass than a Miami drug dealer's powerboat. I like his attitude already. I think it's really good. I didn't realise sticker bombing was still a thing as well. Clearly, it must still be alive because someone out there is doing it to this poor f***ing mini. No, it's, it's not a thing. I think Tom thinks it's a thing, but Tom... Move on. Look at the number plate. Oh no. Oh no. I'd say that wheelie bin has more character going on. Yeah, put your car in there, Tom. Oh Jesus, how how did you sneak this in here? Who put this in there? Uh, well, it says submitted by Ethan Smale, so I'm guessing you. Oh, look at that. Talk us through it, Eth. Ethan Smale has submitted his 2006 Honda Jazz. Mods I've had done, two brake light bulbs. It's got a new air filter. I assume it goes in this bit, right? A new oil filter. <laughs> It's got new oil. Oh, four of the eight spark plugs have been done. <laughs> this is going horribly. And uh, an involuntary decap. So when you say involuntary decap, you mean that someone came in the night, jacked up your car, stole your cat. I went to turn it on one morning and it sounded like some jet engine. And then I rang my local garage and as soon as I said Honda Jazz, he went, your cat's been nicked, hasn't it? Would you also like to tell everyone how much you spent to get this repaired? Well, not really, Alex. No, I wouldn't. Have a figure in your mind of how much you would spend to replace a catalytic converter on a Honda Jazz. And now, Ethan, please, tell everyone. I spent £500 getting it replaced. Oh! Oh my God. You spent more than the car is worth. The reason my wife needed it straight away, and you know, just when you want the problem to go away. It's just a car that says I haven't made it in life. No offence to you and your wife. Wow. What do you think of it, Jack? Uh, it's just like, it, it, if a sigh was a car. Let's move on, all right? We, we've had a go on it now. K10. It's a bit too try hard for me. It's tr trying to be cool. It's illegal, isn't it? Oh, it's very illegal, actually. Yeah, those tyres out from the arches there, that's no good. And the exhaust. Jamie Humphrey. You're well illegal, you uh-oh. We've just outed you. We're dobbing you in. Dob you into the car police. That's the standard police. The type of person who drives this wears a beanie and has one of those ear piercings where you have like those disgusting plates in your earlobes. Do you know what I mean? Cool people. I love at the top at the end he's gone two owners. I wonder how many things it would fail an MOT on though. All of them. Oh hello. Submitted by Arshwan Kashani. I'm sorry for getting your name wrong. So this is wrong on many levels. We have a US spec E36 M3, which means that it doesn't have the proper engine. So we've got about 240 horsepower. Automatic, why even bother? And why why have an M3 with, a, with an open roof? It's just going to be floppy. It's going to be heavy. I literally don't want to waste my breath talking about it. I zoned out for a second then anyway. Because you know the differences between a US spec and a, and a European spec. It's like 30 horsepower down. And, and the rest. Exactly, it's, it's, like, it's like 30 ho horsepower. Interestingly, we've actually got a video on the differences between US and European spec E36 M3s, which you can see in the 
Link there. Oh God. This is good. This is cheeky. I like this. I don't know why there's so much hype about them. They're cool. How is it cool? I mean, the lights, they, he's, he's made it uncool by putting all that glow on it, but it is, it is cool. It's a cool car. Why is it a cool car? I don't know. Because Instagram told me it's cool. Because society told me to say it was cool. Because I want to fit in. Right, let's move on. Because I'm bored of these 200 SXs and blah, blah, blah. What do we have here? You look at it and you think it's some sort of Jaguar, but Papau, it's actually Nissan Microbase. Don't tell me that that isn't a Mark II Jag. I won't believe it. What, so this is a this is a Micra? Yeah, it's a Micra. What? The only way it looks anything like a Jaguar is if you were two foot tall in front of it. It should have got you in that photo then, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I put these in a big pile with kit cars and rep cars and these mini lookalike cars. Just lock them away somewhere so I don't have to see them. For safekeeping? No, not for safekeeping. Put them in a big hole and bury them all. For safekeeping. <gasps> That was the last car on our list. And that, that was quite a high to end on. So there you go. I hope that you guys have enjoyed some of the cars that we've roasted today. Thank you again for everyone who submitted. I think we've had, I don't know, 1600 emails. If you enjoyed this episode, then make sure that you carry on sending your cars in for us to roast. And in the meantime, I'd be interested to know what you guys think of my fill. <laughs> Go to town. Go to town on him. There's nothing bad to be said about it, so feel free to roast away. Anyway, Jack and Ethan, any final words? I just want to say thanks to everyone. Everyone in the emails has been very good sports. They've been encouraging us to be very nasty to them. Yeah, just keep sending more. Roast my rides at carthrottle.com. If you want to watch more, then make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. You can check out more Car Throttle videos over there. And don't forget to check out ModFind down there. We'll see you next week for more roasting and more awesome videos. Bye bye. Waving. Keep waving. Goodbye. Keep waving. See ya.